Welcome to the SQL Superheroes Cave of Best Practices. How may I help you? Hello. I want to shrink my database. What the hell did he just say? Look, all my sand drives are full. I'm out of room. I need to shrink my database. Did you set up your storage area network properly for an SQL server? I do not know. I let the SAN vendor set it up for me. They said everything would work faster and that joy would return to my life. Don't you know who Denny Cherry is? No, why is that important? Yes, it is. Okay, well, did you put your tempdb, data, and log files on different drives? No, why? Is that important? Dear God, yes, that's very important. Didn't you graduate from SQL Chickens University? No, I don't work for KFC or in the poultry industry. Can I ask why? Are you wearing a telephone on your shirt? What is wrong with you? Did you even delete the AdventureWorks database? Oh no, I would get fired for that. Hey, that is the database that I want to shrink. I don't understand. Why would you get fired for deleting the training database from your server? My company sells outdoor sporting equipment. AdventureWorks is our main database. Are you saying that your company runs completely off AdventureWorks? Oh no. We hired a very expensive Visual Basic 6 programmer to do some work in the master database. He said something about adding new stores to sell procs. Why on earth did you let him work in the master database? I thought you were supposed to be smart. Everyone knows it is the best database because it is named master. Didn't you get Scott Gleason's invitation not to be a dumb ass? Ah, uh, no, I don't think so. Who the hell is Scott Gleason anyways? Really? I am willing to bet that you do not even have any backups. We don't need backups because we have a SAN that uses RAID 5. Plus, I think it takes care of roaches. Wow, you have never ever read a manual. I'll bet your security is weak as well. We have very strong security. I set all the passwords to 8765432121. That's pretty clever. No one can hack us. I can. What? No. How? You just told me the password. All of them. I will change them. To what? 1234567 Brent Ozard would probably make you walk the plank on a cruise. You did not grant it all users the system admin role, did you? Yes, of course. How else would they be able to connect to the database? But it is okay, because only I know the SA password. It is people like you that made Brian Knight get into BI. I don't want to turn gay. No, not that type of BI. Business intelligence, you know. SSRS, SSIS, and SSAS. There is no need to use foul words. I don't appreciate Yao spelling me SSAS. You are the NESQL godfather. Buck Woody, and Steve Jones, aren't you? You are like an evil version of all them rolled up into one. I don't know who Steve Jones or Andy Warren is. Please, never ever use Twitter. Ever. Ever. I don't know why this has to be so hard. We never had any problems with the old database that the old developer owned. You mean my SQL? What? My SQL. No, our old developer owned the database. He said it what is not your. For the love of Pete, the database's name was My SQL. What? If you still have the software box, put the disk in it and return the software. Why? Is there something wrong with the disk? No, the disk is fine. You're too dumb to own it. Look, I'm very busy. Can't you just tell me how to shrink a database? Sure, let me get Paul Randall on the phone. I think he still has a few angels with wings left. Ah. Uh, no, really? Who is Scott Gleason?